Hello, Amy here again. Today I will teach you guys how to install RRF on H7 board. Let's work before preparation. A Super 8 Pro motherboard, a SD card, a jumper cap, a U disk, and a Type C USB cable, a Wi Fi antenna. Yes. Now we can open the downloaded link to install the software. Yes. Let's choose the last one. Yes. After downloaded, we can open the software. Yes. We can open it and now wait it. Okay now, then we insert the jumper cap into the motherboard and uh, pour, put the Wi-Fi antenna on the motherboard. Yes, and uh, use Type-C connect to the computer. Okay now, then we go back to the computer. Let's see if it is connected. Okay, let's connect fresh. Yes, now USB 1 is over there and series number. And let's connect. Open our Devils Manager to see if it's the DFU EFS model. Yes, that is. Okay, clean connect. Yes. Now it's successful. Now let's open view. Yes, clean it and we can choose the downloaded RRF firmware film. Yes, this one and open it. Yes. Now it's here. Let's clean download. Yes, now view downloaded complete. After compilation, let's turn off the software and then remove the jump cap on the motherboard. Let's start downloading firmware. Yes, close it. Okay, download the firmware, choose this one and uh, this one. We need download it. Okay. And uh, this one, we need to choose this, download it. Okay, we can open this link. Yes, go to the general. Let's choose board is Super 8 Pro. And uh, I own this one. Yes, choose this one. And ADC one. And this one, we can choose hit zero. Okay, now we can go to the finish and uh, click finish let's wait loading this is config yes okay we can download yes download this config yes after downloaded all firmware let's insert the sd card Copy all downloaded firmware. Let's insert to into the computer. Yes. And now we can open it. And now we can move the about four downloaded firmware into the SD card. Yes. And this one and copy here now it is okay now let's decompress yes decompress the field okay and this one
Okay, now, and now we can delete the comprise the package. Yes, and the rename the fur fur. Yes, rename them. And this one, firm the the bin. Yes. Okay, now we can open the config. Let's open the config. Yes, and then cat csys to the root directory. Yes, up here, and we can delete the config folder. Yes. Okay, now we can rename that dot web control sd to sun w let's rename this one yes w w w okay now let's come create a firmware folder yes Okay, and we can move the dot Wi-Fi server the bin to the firmware folder. Okay, now we can create two empty folders, Gcos and Micros. Yes. After compilation. We can pull out the USB flash driver. Okay, now all is okay. Let's pull out the USB flash driver. Yes. Pull out. And then we can insert the SD card into the SD slot of the H7 motherboard. Yes, over there. And now we can go back to the computer. And then unzip terminal 3.4 zip. Yes, and open this interface. And now we can connect this and we can choose our common part yes according our common part yes is comma six so let's go back to the term interface open it and we can go to the setting yes we can choose comma six and choose ok yes Yes, this one. Okay, now we can enter M997S1 and enter. Let's flash the Wi Fi firmware into the Wi Fi module. Let's wait. It may take a few minutes. Okay, now it's completely. Let's enter M552SO. That is means the Wi-Fi is closed. And then we can enter M587S Wi-Fi account and P Wi-Fi password. Yes. 
that is our Wi-Fi account and the Wi-Fi password and enter and then we can enter m 552 one let's open the Wi-Fi let's wait uh, one minute this one is our IP address yes here it is then we can go to our Google Pro browser let's open the IP address yes enter If you need to modify the language, let's open the general to select the language. Yes, over there. Then let's go back to the machine parameter interface. Yes, here we can set our machine parameters again according to our printer. Yes. After after that, let's we go to the, our printer and uh, choose system and upload system view and choose the config zip that that is our new config. Yes, open it. Let's restart mainboard. After all uploads completely, then all is success. Okay, now that's all for today. If it can help you, thanks for your watching. See you next time. Bye.